Inside Science. When you think of football, physics is probably the last subject that comes to mind. But in reality, science runs deep with the pigskin, especially when it comes to throwing the ball. There's the aesthetic excitement of seeing a beautiful arc and a spinning ball. Tim Gay is a physicist and avid football fan. He put together his knowledge of science and football to help explain it to fans at University of Nebraska football games. The one question that I got early on, which I was unable to answer, is why does a tight spiral pass turn over? It's thrown with an upward tilt of perhaps 30 degrees, and it descends, hopefully, into the hands of the receiver with a downward tilt of approximately negative 30 degrees. Why does that happen? This question puzzled Gay for years, so he called in some colleagues as reinforcements. Then one, although I have to say that after the team got together and started worrying about this, we still yelled at each other for about three years before we finally got it all figured out. The reason the ball turns over is the same reason that a gyroscope precesses. What is precession? It's the motion of the axis of a spinning object when there is an external force acting on the axis, like poking a rapidly spinning top. So gravity is pulling down on the spinning top and the axis of the top revolves, precesses around that vertical. That's what's guiding the ball to turn over. Replacing gravity vertically downward is the onrushing air, which is always pointing in the opposite direction of the line of trajectory. Air is crucially important. Our goal was to solve it in a way, we just did more detailed computer simulations, and we solved it and tried to put it in a form where the physics took center stage and was really explaining it in terms of forces, torques, and gyroscopic motion. He hopes his findings will give people an increased appreciation of the game and maybe give sports fans an interest in physics. It's such a great game because the ball isn't some simple sphere, it's a prolate spheroid which causes all kinds of crazy stuff. Just ask, you know, ask a punting team what the ball does when it lands. It's unpredictable. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.